another pick a card reading. Today's reading is about what shadows do you need to release? What shadow attributes are you holding on to that are keeping you from moving forward? And before we get started, a trigger warning because these are probably going to be messages that you do not want to hear but need to hear at this moment. So for pile one, we have the child divine. Pile two, we have the king card. Feel free to pause the video to choose your pile. And last but not least, we have the detective card. Pile one, child divine. Pile two, the king. Pile three. The Detective. Those are your piles, and I will see you there. Bye, guys. Hello, Pile 1. You have made it to your pile with the Child Divine. So, trigger warning before we jump into this. It is probably not going to be what you want to hear, but what you need to hear. So, take this message with a grain of salt. Do not let it get you down, but more take it in and see how you can work with it see how you can transform with this message so with the child divine the shadow attribute is an ability an inability to defend oneself against negative forces so not being able to stand up for yourself not being able to find the courage to tell people no, to um, let people know what's not for you, what is for you. So I am going to assume that this reading is going to be based around that. Spirit guides, ancestors, angels, higher selves, please come through and help deliver an honest and accurate message for pile one. What shadow attributes does pile one need to release in order to move forward? What shadow does pile one need to release in order to move forward? In order to usher in growth into their journey. What shadow attributes does pile one need to release? What shadow attributes does pile one need to release? You're probably someone with a very kind heart, um, a very innocent, childlike energy to you, where people feel that they can take advantage of you. What shadow attributes does Pyle want me to release? <clears throat> it says to reciprocate and for others to reciprocate. To give, feel, or do in return. Mutual or corresponding actions. So, the message for pile one is the fact that you need to release people-pleasing tendencies. Um, you are giving more than you are getting back from people. And this could be a, a wound surrounding your childhood. This could be a wound surrounding where... You were not noticed. You were not... Um, giving the recognition for the things that you did for others. For the love that you gave. No one really took the time to be very grateful to show you their gratitude. And now in your adult life... It's playing out as maybe you don't want to be alone. Maybe you don't feel comfortable being alone. And you keep people around even if they are using you. And this keeps us from connecting with the right people. We continuously find ourselves around the wrong people whenever we do not stand up for ourselves, whenever we do not respect ourselves. One second, 
guys. I gotta light this incense. <clears throat> My allergies have been absolutely awful. It's very annoying. I love fall, but the allergies are just so real right now. Okay. So, people-pleasing qualities is holding you back from a forward growth. What shadow attribute does Pile one to release in order to move forward? Thank you, Spirit. What shadow attributes does Pile one to release in order to move forward? To be loved. Exactly. You have this inner... You have this inner feeling, this inner wound that you are not loved, that you have to go the extra mile to prove your worth, to prove yourself to others in order for them to take you serious. And that's just not reality. That's not how genuine connections should be. A genuine connection is between two people who accept each other for the truth of their self. So if you have this childhood wound of not feeling loved, of not feeling appreciated, a genuine connection for you would be someone who understands this about you and doesn't expect you to go the extra mile, who understands when you don't call back, who understands when you have things to do and you can't give them your absolute all. Those are the kind of connections that are going to show you what genuine love is, what genuine acceptance is. Because being around people who just want you to actually absolutely be your best self all the time, to um, not make any mistakes, to always be there hand and foot waiting to serve them, those are not your people. And those are not the people who are going to help you heal or help you find growth in your own path. They want to make sure that you stay in a box so that you see them as authority. So you put them on a pedestal and those are not your people. You can be loved by not being your best self. You do not have to be your best self or show people how great you are in order to be loved. That's not love. Now we have trust. It says to be able to rely upon someone. So you don't want people to see you in a negative light. But that is not what life is. Because everyone has a negative light. Everyone has things that they don't want others to see. And we cannot live an authentic life and live in our authentic truth by hiding those negative traits that we carry. And in order to transform those negative traits to work on them, you have to face them. You can't hide yourself in a box. So in order for you, Pile 1, to move forward upon your growth, it's time for you to show your true self, not hold back who you are. If you are a very emotional person, but you are around people who think that showing emotion is weak, who um, think that showing emotion is immature, like those are not your people because you are not able to express how you actually feel. A lot of people think that showing emotion is a sign of, like I said, immaturity, and it's not. It's more of how that person handles their emotions. <clears throat> and if you're someone who does handle their emotions, but you speak on them, there's nothing wrong with that. Maybe you tell yourself that in order to be seen as an adult, in order to be seen as a mature person, you have to zip it up. You have to be quiet. And that's just not true. It's not true. All right. How can Pile 1 release 
this shadow attribute that is holding me back? How can Pile 1 release this shadow attribute that is holding them back? Thank you, Spirit. How can Pile 1 release this shadow attribute? Four of Wands with the Page of Cups and the Eight of Swords. I feel that with the Page of Cups, you feel so at home, especially with the Child Divine card, you feel so at home in yourself when you are being childlike, when you are being very bright and open-minded and open to like the fantasy world. Just, this could be a group of people who really love um, watching childhood cartoons. Maybe that makes you feel good about being yourself, about being connected to your inner child. I know a lot of adults lose that connection to their inner child and look down on others who see life with bright eyes, who see life with um, so much optimism. Even if they have the worst day, they are seeing the best situation of, um, or the best outcome of the situation possible. And with the Four of Wands, that is like celebration. And you see how we are outside of the Four of Wands and there are people calling us to come in. I feel like that is your inner child welcoming you inside. Letting you know that there is a safe space inside of yourself. You don't have to find a home in others. You don't have to find a safe space in others because it's not going to be there. And your inner child wants you to know it's okay. It's safe to be home. Especially in this child divine card. This child is open armed. Is um, full of so much love to come in to where they are. And I feel that that is your inner child letting you know it is safe for you to be yourself. It is safe for you to be yourself. And whoever um, you lose upon your path of being yourself... It was meant to happen. You were meant to lose those people because those are not your people. How can Pile 1 overcome this shadow attribute? The Six of Wands with the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Swords. So this is the truth. With the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Cups can stand for healing, can stand for an emotional awakening. So maybe... Your inner child is trying to awaken you to the truth of that you are a childlike person. You are someone who hasn't dimmed their light just because of the mundane adult world. You still have that inside of you and it's time for you to embrace it. Time for you to show it to the world instead of keeping it to yourself because you're scared that you won't fit in. Who gives a fuck if you don't fit in? Because life is way too short. We could die at any second. We could literally die any second in any day. And you don't want to shut out your authentic self just to fit in with people who are not even meant to be a part of your path. How can Pile 1 overcome this shadow attribute? How can Pile 1 overcome the shadow attributes? The Five of Swords with the Queen of Cups and the Eight of Swords. You may feel that you have to hide this childlike um, energy in order for people not to take advantage of you, not to see you as someone who is naive. But with the Queen of Cups, and judgment and the eight of swords and the ace of cups again I feel that you shouldn't worry about who's trying to take advantage of you because as long as you are in the right as long as you have the right intentions the pure intentions of love of living through your heart space, through forgiveness and compassion. It doesn't matter who takes advantage of you. It doesn't matter who is after you because they are always going to lose in the end. They are absolutely always going to be the losers. Because when you move with love and pure intent and 
wanting the best for everyone around you, you you are always the winner. You are always winning. Point blank period. Even if you feel that people make fun of you, they are losers. They are complete losers. Just because they cannot express their inner child, just because they have lost connection to their inner child, to have an imagination, to see things with an open mind for new perspectives, does not make them better than you, does not make them more adult than you, does not make them more mature than you. That's their own insecurity. They are projecting on you. We have the Queen of Pentacles with the King of Wands and the King of Pentacles. You will find your people. You will connect with the right people once you start showing your true, authentic, childlike self. Because you are someone who is very in touch with nature, very in touch with animals, and just showing that compassion. You have so much compassion inside of you. And um, with the King of Pentacles and the King of Wands, you will find people who connect with you. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles, please. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles, please. Thank you. And we got the Strength card. Um, and also, Spirit wants you to stop trying to shove it down people's throats that you are such a loving person and that you are such a light and a good opportunity for them to be in your life because you will give to them. You will just continuously give and give. And Spirit wants you to know that you cannot force friendships or relationships just because you are a good person, just because you have good intent. That doesn't mean that the friendship or the relationship is in your best interest. With the High Priestess and the Three of Cups, if you listen to your intuition, you're going to know when a friendship is genuine, when a relationship is genuine. When you feel drained, because you feel like you were going out of your way <clears throat> to be noticed when you were going out of your way to show your love and it's not being um, mirrored back to you, that is a red flag. That is a huge red flag that this um, connection is not for you and it's not going to serve you. So Spirit wants you to stop using your energy Stop wasting your energy and your time on connections that are not a 40. And this is where you are going to find growth. Listen to your intuition. Listen to your body. Listen to the way that you feel around people, you know? When, you, when you're around someone and you feel like you're not being noticed, dip out. Don't waste your time there. We have the death card, exactly. Put an end to those connections that make you feel like shit. Put an end to those connections that make you feel unseen. Because they're not going to change. The only change that you can usher in in your life is being your authentic self. And whatever comes with that, comes with that. Ten of Wands. Put those wands down. These wands, these emotional burdens... These um, these heavy energies that you just want to work but are not meant to work, put it down. Put it down. With the Page of Cups, give that cup to yourself. Give that love, that innocence to your animals, to a stranger on the street, to an old person who needs a door open, who needs help carrying their groceries. Put that love somewhere where it will be appreciated. With the three pinnacles, because people do want to work with you. People do see you as a mature person, the mature adult that you are. You don't have to hide your innocence and your childlike energy to be mature, to fit in. Because that's just not genuine. It's just not genuine for you to do that. With the two of pinnacles... 
it's time for you to find balance and what connections are for you and what connections are not for you. And yes, pile one, that was your message. So keywords, do not people please. Um, keep that childlike energy alive. Keep your inner child alive because your inner child loves you, loves you so much and appreciates your imagination and your open mind and your huge heart. So keep that alive. Don't lose yourself for other people because it's not worth it. You will meet your people, I promise. You will meet your people, your soul tribe. They will connect with you. Um, live every day to your fullest. Do those little things that make you happy every single day. But yes, Pile One, that was your reading. And if you would like a personal reading with me, check out the link below. Um, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I would love to have you back. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye, guys. Hello, Pile Two. Welcome to your pile with the King card. And the shadow attribute is excessive feelings of entitlement, rulership without restraint. So, I call upon these spirit guides, angels, and ancestors of the collective of Pile 2. The collective of Pile 2. What shadow attributes need to be released in order to move forward? What shadow attributes does Pile 2 need to release in order to move forward? Thank you, thank you, thank you, Spirit. I hope you guys are doing well today. Pile 2. What shadow attributes need to be released? And we can already say, you know, maybe your ego is on level 10 right now. We have status. All right. To have a high position or rank socially, professionally, or otherwise in relation to others. Professionally. Um, maybe, Kyle, to you hold such a... You have such a chokehold on status. Um, what makes you feel worthy in this world? What makes you feel like you have a place in this world is your status. You could be someone of high status. You could be someone who comes from a wealthy family or you have built your own wealth. But holding on so tightly to the material world, to material status... Is holding you back from growing your authentic self from growing your authentic soul and I forgot to get the trigger warning um, these are going to be messages that you probably do not want to hear but need to hear do not shoot the messenger I am just here for spirit what shadow attributes what shadow attributes does pile to need to release in order to move forward, in order to find a deeper growth journey. I feel like this really does have to do a lot with material status. Um, you could find yourself looking down on people who are not as wealthy as you, who are not as stable as you. The cards are not wanting to come out. Alright, anytime. Industry. You could be someone who works in the uh, uh, music industry, in the entertainment in industry. It says to work hard and well at my task in life to demonstrate the qualities of diligence, focus, labor, effort, energy, and dedication. Okay. Um, you could have a 9 to 5 job as well, and you may find yourself looking down on people who have a free schedule, who um, are not putting in as many hours as you, who, you could be someone who does work a lot, who puts in a lot of work, um, who probably 
is mostly just focused on building that status, building that material wealth. <clears throat> you may have, um, you may be out of touch with the little things in life. You may be out of touch with what really matters outside of the material world. Truth. As I said that, the truth card popped out. Maybe you tend not to speak the truth. Maybe you avoid speaking the truth because you don't want to upset others around you. Because you will lose your status if you do speak your actual opinions. If you do speak how you truly feel about things. Maybe you know that you don't fit in with um, people of status, but you don't care. You don't care that you are chasing a life that you know is not for your highest good. I feel like you were very aware of the fact that you are going after status. You are very aware of the shadow att attributes that you carry at the moment. Progress. Because maybe you have become addicted to seeing continuous progress in the material world. Maybe you have um, a very stable job that pays very well. And that's all you are focused on right now. How can Pia 2 release this shadow attribute to welcome in more growth on a soul level? How can Pia 2 overcome this shadow attribute and welcome in more growth on a soul level. And Spirit wants me to tell you that material worth does not make you better than anyone. Material status, um, the hierarchy does not make you better than anyone who is not a part of your status. Seven of Pentacles. Be grateful for what you already have achieved. Um, take time to show gratitude for how far you came already. For um, the things that you have already. Show gratitude for the small things as well. Um, for the food on your table. Or traffic being slow on your way to work. Just small things. And um, overcoming the shadow is by showing gratitude. Like, yes, you have put in so much work. Yes, you, um, you, uh, you have worked to gain that appreciation, to gain that recognition. For all of the hard work that you've done. But it's time to show gratitude for the recognition that you have already gotten. I know you want to continue to climb the ladder to status, to success. But you have to take time to show gratitude for how you got there. For who has helped you get there. For, um, just for everything, really. You just gotta show gratitude. Set aside that pride that you are someone who just works the hardest. That you are someone who no one can beat because there's always someone better than us. 
no matter how much we uh, put in, no matter how much, no matter how much work we put in, there's always going to be someone who is doing better than us. That's just how America works. That's how the world works. While you are looking at someone like, oh wow, they ain't doing shit. Someone is looking at you like, wow, they ain't doing shit. When really you are doing shit. You are putting in a lot of work. So maybe just take in that consideration. Step outside of your shoes into someone else's shoes. They may look like they're not putting in work, but they might be. Just like someone could assume you're not putting in the work, but you are. How can Pile 2 overcome the shadow attribute? How can Pile 2 overcome the shadow attribute? Four of Swords. Take time to rest. Take time to show that gratitude. Take time to just pause. Instead of just continuously, continuously growing and striving and trying to be the best. Take time to rest give your body that recognition give your mind that recognition of all of this hard work that you've been putting in because with the moon card there is so much more to you there is so much more to you on a soul level on a personality level than what you have gained in the material world what you have gained in in status you are so much more than that clarify the moon clarify the moon jesus Christ. the full card pile one was deeply connected to their inner child and i feel that you this group is deeply disconnected from their inner child because I feel like you have left behind that energy, <clears throat> excuse me, energy to take time out and do the things that you love that is outside of climbing the social ladder, outside of climbing the material ladder, the status ladder. There are other things that will make you happy. Other things that you have done since childhood that you absolutely loved clarify the full card yeah we have the two of pentacles it's time to find that inner balance it's time to find that balance within yourself of your adult self your status self and your authentic who you are to the core self. I feel that you have teetered a little too much into the status world and have left behind your childlike, your fun energy. How can a pile to overcome the shadow? How can pile to overcome the shadow? And as well, it's just that double confirmation of stepping into other people's shoes. Um, not just looking down on others because they don't have a nice car or they don't have fresh shoes or they're not working a 9 to 5 job. That doesn't mean that they're not doing anything. There's always a deeper story to people. Really take time to look at people with human eyes with a sense of humanity in your heart put the corporate shit aside every once in a while how can pile two overcome the shadow knight of wands exactly let yourself be a little free let yourself get a little wild with the higher font. I feel like you're a very structured person. You're a very um, goal-oriented person, which is very fantastic. Keep it up. But let yourself get a little wild sometimes. Let yourself put your guard down. You don't have to be go, go, go all the time because you're still going to achieve your goals. 
you're still going to be of status. Just because you have fun don't mean that you ain't of status, that you aren't an adult. Yes, the Judgment card came out with the Ten of Wands and the Nine of Swords and the Five of Cups. It's time to call judgment on yourself. It's time to um, tap into some fun because I feel like you're uptight and I feel like this uptightness makes you feel better than everybody else, makes you feel like you have the right to look down on people and it's just not true. It's time to call judgment and stop judging others. Because everyone comes from somewhere, you know? The king of wands. Three of pentacles, king of swords. Clarify by the King of Wands. The Eight of Wands. Okay. <clears throat> so we have the Hierophant here. And then we have the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is very fast-moving energy. I feel like you try to avoid anything that's going to catch you off guard. You try to avoid anything that is spontaneous. And Spirit wants you to actually embrace spont being spontaneous. They want you to embrace having fun. It don't have to be work all the time, guys. So your shadow attribute is being uptight of not really enjoying life, but only enjoying climbing a social ladder, enjoying um, climbing to material status. And material status and security does bring happiness of course there is nothing wrong with being a goal-oriented person but once it starts getting you to look down on others because they are not working as hard or assuming that they don't work as hard as you do because they are having fun they are making time to embrace their childlike energy does it make you any better than them in fact you can learn from them you can learn how to relax, how to let loose every now and then. But yes, pile two, that was your reading. Um, let me know if it resonated in the comments. I am open for personal readings if you would like one. And please make sure to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this reading. I would love to have you back. Bye, guys. Hello, pile three with the detective card. You have made it to your pile. And we're going to get straight into it. So, with the detective card, the shadow attribute is falsifying information. I feel that your shadow attribute that needs to be released is hearing information and maybe adding to it to make it more um, more exciting. Like you could hear a rumor and then add more to it to make it more appealing to listen to. Oh, and also, um, I was gonna start out with trigger warning. Um, these are messages that you. Uh, need to hear but probably do not want to hear so please do not shoot the messenger i am just here for spirit so pile three pile three i call upon the spirit guys and ancestors and angels of pile three what shadow do, shadows does pile three need to release what shadows does pile three need to release or maybe you like to read books, but when you're sharing the information that you're reading, you're still adding information of your own opinion to it. You're just adding more and more to it. Maybe you find yourself in drama. 
a lot with other people. What shadow attributes does Pile 3 need to release? Imagination, exactly. It says to have and be surrounded by creative new ideas, images, and concept concepts not yet observed by the senses. Maybe you hear one thing and then your imagination runs with it and you blow it up. Maybe you hear someone say something about you and they didn't mean it in the way that you thought that, thought that they meant it. But you're going to run with that anyways. With certainty. I feel like spirit wants you to make sure that something is true before you go out and speak on it. Because something may not be what you think it is. But now you have already spoke your opinion on it. And that's how people are taking you now. That's how people are viewing you now because you didn't get all of the facts before you spoke on this whatever. What shadow attributes does pile three need to release? Authenticity. I'm going to clarify that before I speak on it. Um, clarify authenticity, please. <clears throat> It says to be genuine, original, real, and true. Clarify authenticity. Quality time. Like I said before, maybe you blow up stories in order to catch people's attention. This group, again, trigger warning, I am not trying to offend anybody here. But maybe this group can have attention-seeking qualities. Spirituality. by spirituality. Religion. Honesty. Rationality. Um, this is just a side note. There could be someone in this group who goes to a church that, or just a religion, um, a religious kind of group who isn't really focused on religion, who isn't really focused on spirituality and finding that deeper connection to God, to a higher power, but more focused on building friendships and cliques. Maybe Spirit wants you to know that this isn't for you. And this is just a side message for someone in this pile. Um, maybe Spirit wants you to know that this is not a genuine place of spirituality, of religion. Because they tend to over exaggerate what they're talking about um over exaggerate their teachings maybe you're going somewhere where the preacher or the uh, teacher of the class is adding in their own opinions other than actually tapping into a higher power to God's source of purity and honesty. Maybe they're adding their own opinions into their teachings. 
And that is a side message for someone in this group. It does not have to resonate for everybody. So do not take it. If you go to, to an authentic religious group, do not take that. What shadow attribute is holding back Pile 3? Non-conformity. Determination. I feel like this pile doesn't want to be seen as someone who does not fit in. So if there are people gossiping around you, you are also going to um, give in to that energy and gossip yourself. And Spirit wants you to know that this is holding you back. That this is not genuine and this is not healthy for you. That a place of religion, a place of spirituality is not to gossip. It is not made to gossip. It is not made to just build a community. It is made to connect to spirit, to connect to a higher power. How can Pile 3 release the shadow attribute and move forward? How can Pile 3 release the shadow attribute and move forward? How can Pile 3 release the shadow attribute and move forward? Maybe with the detective card, Spirit wants you to take a deeper look. Take a deeper look into what you're putting your claim into. Is it genuine? Do you feel like you're getting a deeper connection to a higher source? To a higher power? Because in this picture, you see how she's looking in the book? But there's a hole in the book. I feel like there's someone who is giving out bullshit. To be quite honest. And it says, great powers of intuition. I feel like Spirit wants you to tap into your intuition. To seek out the truth of what's really going on. Are you getting the right information? Seven of Cups. And the Seven of Cups can be illusion illusions can be something that is not what it seems <clears throat> with the king of swords and the five of cups because in the seven of cups card there is an angel but she is covered and this person doesn't know what to choose to choose and one cup is a snake One cup is a tower. Clarify the seven of cups. Clarify the seven of cups. Ten of swords and the devil. Ew. Ew. And the Queen of Pentacles, are you giving your money to a religious um, organization? And in the star card, you know, you notice how one cup is being poured into the water and one cup is being poured into the ground. Being wasted. But also you can look at it as the majority is poured into the pond and someone going their own path is pouring over here, which is making multiple streams. <clears throat> excuse, me, excuse me, my throat is really messed up from the allergies. It's awful, but... I feel like this is a warning with the moon card. There's something hidden. There's something hidden here. I 
know this is a reading about shadow attributes and what you need to release, but I had a feeling that there was going to be a pile that um, didn't have a shadow, but more of a situation. I feel like there's a situation here where you're not seeing the truth. And it's time for you to tap into your intuition to really determine if something is the truth. Maybe you're just listening to somebody and taking what they say as the truth. And it's not the truth. It's more of opinion. It's more of their own stance when it comes to their perspective of the world. Of how things should be. Clarify the devil. Clarify the devil, please. The Knight of Pentacles. Oh, and then we have the Five of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, the Ace of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles. The Chariot. I feel like you could be listening to a religious speaker or a spiritual speaker. It's something that has to do with spirituality, religion, a higher power. But you're listening to the speaker who is promising <clears throat> that what they're saying is the truth and will bring you forward movement. Which is very ironic because this reading is about how to move forward. And I feel like they're trying to force this down your throat that this is the truth. And I feel like you're falling for it. Because we have the Three of Swords, which is complete heartbreak, which is being lied to, with the Ace of Swords, that is blocking the truth. Maybe there's someone around you, a professional, that is feeding off of your trauma and your stories and your pain to gain money in their favor because if you heal and if you move forward there's no reason for you to stick around which will not put money in their pocket with the world in reverse i feel like they're promising you the world they're promising you answers like revelations but it's not the truth it's just keeping you stagnant because it's benefiting them to keep you stagnant the lovers on the back and the four of pinnacles clear by the world in reverse clear by the world in reverse the Eight of Pentacles, exactly. Pentacles, building that money, building their pockets. And with the world, they don't want you to move on. And it's time for you to protect yourself for the with the Seven of Wands. It's time for you to get out of this illusion. This illusion that this is helping you. Because it's not helping you. This illusion that maybe it's a big group of people. And they're all feeling like this is helping them. But it's just an illusion. Like they are feeling better. That they are getting truth from this person. But it's not true. I do not. I personally, in my opinion, do not believe in gurus. I don't really believe in like. I don't want to say too much. But. <clears throat> I don't believe in, I'll just say gurus. I don't believe in gurus who have these promises, these universal laws to what the truth is. Because the truth is different for every single person in this world. There is no ultimate truth. That is my personal opinion. And I feel that a lot of people who are lost who 
are not connected to their inner truth, to their own intuition, get caught up in this revolutionary truth that is supposed to be so healing, but if it's opinion based, how is it going to be healing for everybody? It just don't make no sense. Angels, what should Pile 3 do about this situation? <clears throat> what should Pile 3 do about this situation? What should Pile 3 do about this situation? Thank you, thank you, thank you. What should Pile 3 do about this situation? Ace of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands. Page of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles. Alright, before I speak, I'm going to pull one more card. The Knight of Wands. Okay, that's what I was going to say. With the Two of Pentacles. Um, <clears throat> Spirit just wants to remind you that... The truth is within yourself. With the Ace of Pentacles, I'm going to take this as your universal truth. Actually, right here. Your universal truth is within you, and it's time for you to give yourself that pinnacle. You are the Queen of Wands. You already had the answers. You had the answers independently of what works for you. <clears throat> Excuse me. And with the Knight of Wands, it's time to accept that to act on it, to actually trust your intuition, to actually listen to yourself with the detective card. Look through the book. Your answers are not in the book. Your answers are within. Look through the book. Don't read the book. Look through the book. Three of Pentacles. The page of Clarify Three of Pentacles. Clarify the Three of Pentacles. With the Death card. Okay. So the Three of Pentacles was clarified by the Death card. So stop giving your power away to other people who claim to have power because they don't have power. They don't hold the truth for your ultimate truth. So stop giving your time and energy to the people who think that they know what is best for you. Because only you know what is best for you, okay? But yes, Pile 3, that was your reading. Good luck on your journey. Do not fear. Do not take this message as something to be fearful of. Just <clears throat> take time to go within. Get inside of that hermit mode energy. You don't need a group of people to connect you to the most high. You don't need a group of people to connect you to your spirit guides, to your spirit team. That's all you, baby. That's all you, okay? But yes, pile three, that was your reading. Um, please let me know if it resonated in the comments. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can check out the link below. Please like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed. I would love to have you here again. Bye.